Hi there, I'm Alex with QC Charge. Today I'm going to show you how to check your speed sensor for coolant leakage in the 2012 to 2014 Toyota RAV4 EV. The easiest way to check your speed sensor at home is going to be to do it from the side. So your first step is going to be to turn your wheels all the way to the right. And what we're going to do is remove this plastic panel right here. So there's four clips that hold it in. We got one clip up here. One clip over here, and then there's going to be two clips on the bottom as well. These ones are already removed along with the bottom cover, um, but that gives you a good idea of what you need to take out. The easiest way to remove the clips is with just with a flathead screwdriver. And what you want to do is just stick the flat blade of the screwdriver under the clip, pry the top part of the clip out, and then the clip can be removed. And the second clip removed. Now we can remove our side panel. Now you can see the side of the motor here. This right here is the speed sensor that we're going to remove. First thing we want to do is unplug it. So to unplug it, you just want to pry this little clip up and pull on the connector. After we do that, we need to remove the sensor. There's one 10 millimeter bolt that holds it in. You can remove that with a ratchet if you want. I'm going to use my impact here. There's the bolt removed, and then we can remove the sensor just by giving it a gentle pull, and there it is. So we want to check that for any liquid on the sensor, as well as check the hole for any liquid as well. If you do see any liquid, that means that your internal coolant seal is leaking, and your motor is going to need to be taken apart to be rebuilt. We can do that at our shop here in Vista, California, and you can give us a call at 760-798-0342. Here's a couple examples of what you might find when you remove the speed sensor from your Toyota RAV4 EV or Mercedes B-Class. This one right here, you can see is pretty clean. Nothing wrong with that. If you see that, you're all good to go. This one right here, you can see there's a lot of moisture on it little droplets of coolant. If you see that, you know that your uh, coolant seal is starting to leak and it's going to need to be addressed in the very near future. Otherwise, you can end up with this one right here. This is what happens when the motor is starting to seize, get a lot of rust buildup, and all that rust is just being ground away by the motor and it just causes this buildup of crap. If you see that in there, you know that um, your motor is not doing very well and it needs to be addressed immediately.